and hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Tutorials GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity and how to make a cool, evil, robotic emperor voice. Uh, you'll see what it sounds like. I think it sounds pretty awesome. It's very useful for a lot of, like, if you're doing, like, voice acting, you want to have this evil, you know, just badass guy then uh, this is the way to do it. You will need to sort of make your voice sort of deeper because if you just talk normally, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna show you guys what I have here, a pre-recorded uh, version of what I'm gonna say here, and then we'll take a look at the effects we're gonna add on and you'll see the final, the, and you'll see the finished product. So here's what I have recorded. It's gonna sound a little weird because um, I basically did it in one take and it isn't perfect. So just bear with me, here it is. They are moving. A pity they won't stand a chance. No one will take power of my kingdom. So there we have it. A, a cool little line, I guess you could say. And if we want to make this sound really badass, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything. Control A. And we're going to go up to effects. And the first thing you want to do is a bass boost. So go ahead and go to bass right here. Click it. And make sure you have this unchecked. If you have this check marked, the level is actually going to bring it down. And uh, your your audio levels are going to go really down far. And you want to make sure your bass is all the way up. You can leave uh, the middle option the same. But just make sure you have this unchecked so that your levels aren't being decreased. Go ahead and press OK. And the next thing you want to do is uh, duplicate this track. So we're just going to go up to Track, Add New, Stereo Track. And just go ahead and highlight this, Control c to copy, Control v to paste. And we basically have our track duplicated. And then we're going to go ahead and change the pitch of the first track. So highlight your first track. Go up to Effect again. Go to Change Pitch. And depending on how deep your voice is or how deep you recorded yourself or how high your voice is, you may have to put in smaller values, bigger values, higher negatives, lower negatives. But essentially, you want to make the first track uh, be very low. So I'm going to try a negative 20. And that was weird. Negative 20 for uh, percent and change for the first track. And your second track, you want to have it about at half, maybe a little over half. So I'm going to go ahead and change pitch again. And I'm going to make this a negative 10. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the last thing we're going to do is control A to highlight everything and go up to effects again and find the phaser option here. And for here, you want to have a max in stages. You want to have a max in dry slash wet. And you want to have uh, minimum values for the next two options. It's not going to make you, it's not going to allow you to print to zero. So 0 0.1 will do. You can try 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. I found 0 0.1 to be very good. Next option, all the way to zero. Your depth, you want to have all the way to the top. And your uh, feedback, make sure when you're putting it to zero, don't drag it all the way back because that's going to put it to negative 250. Actually put it right in the center to zero because there is a negative value. And once you have that, if we take a listen to this, you're going to see it sounds pretty awesome. They are moving. A pity they won't stand a chance. No one will take power of my kingdom. So it sounds really awesome, like this really, really evil robotic emperorish voice. So um, that's the voice effect right there. You can do other things like um, taking out some of the noise removal. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a very clear microphone, before you do any of this, you may want to zoom into your track and uh, you may want to take a look at some of the noise that you have here. If you take a look at this. Uh, if you have a very staticky mic, you may want to take out that with a noise removal, and noise removal is right here, noise reduction. You can also play around with some of the equalization of this track. You can go up to effects and uh, equalization. Now for you, it's probably going to look like this. You're going to have these, uh, these little nodes that you can pull down or pull up, but I'll go ahead and go to uh, curves right here, draw curves. And what you can then do is sort of drag the end of this down like so and just give it a nice dip like that. And that will make your voice a little deeper and put it behind like uh, a very bass boosty type of 
uh, audio filter. I'm not sure how to explain it, but you'll see. You'll, if you take a listen right now, you'll see what I mean. They are moving. A pity they won't stand a chance. So if we add that, we'll actually get more of a bass boost, sort of, and more of a, a deepened tone. And it sort of puts it behind a uh, behind a wall, I guess you could say. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but that's kind of it, it. Just makes it sound a lot better, I guess you could say. So we take a final listen to this. They are moving. A pity it won't stand a chance. No one will take power of my kingdom. So that's basically the effect. The power is really behind the phaser, and the equalization just brings it brings it out a bit more. That's you know, very dark. And um, obviously, change pitch is very important here, and it depends sort of on what, what tone your natural voice is. Just playing around with things a bit. But um, pretty much for this tutorial, plenty of the Audacity tutorials on the channel, plenty more to come as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Plenty of other software content on the channel as well. Any questions or comments, confusions, if you'd like me to do a tutorial on something, you can leave in the comments section below. I'm pretty good about replying to all the comments and answering any questions. So that's pretty much for this video. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone, and this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.